Now there's a very very interesting case going on right now in Nakuru <laughs> that has grabbed national headlines. Yeah? Where has it grabbed national headlines? Because somebody actually raped, violently raped a person during an armed uh, robbery in a house in Nakuru, Bahati area. Yeah? This person actually raped a very unfortunate female uh, uh, Kenyan and then uh, later on contacted the same female Kenyan and asked her out for a date. What? In all my years in journalism, in all my years of exposure, exposure to international news, yeah, even reading about the very, very uh, sick uh, serial killers we have in the West, yeah, I have never heard of a case where a rapist, a violent rapist, has asked the, the victim for a date after the fact. You see, Jaskia? What? Now, we're going to go deep into this amazing Kenyan case after the short upcoming break. Don't miss it. March 14th last year, March 14th, 2017, Kevin Matundura and others raided the house of a uh, family somewhere in Bahati in Nakuru. For those who know Nakuru and the Bahati area. Yeah. And uh, this violent uh, robbery of theirs lasted almost eight hours until 5 a.m. in the morning of the following day. Yeah. Now, they stole all manner of things in the house. They demanded uh, the ATM from the owner of the house, the Mze, yeah. Demanded his m pin, did a lot of things, yeah. The Mze was adamant. Fortunately, he was not killed, okay. But they really harassed the family. And then, they turned their attention to the daughter in the house. And they gang raped her, yeah. Kevin, Kevin Matundura and uh, Joram Joroge were amongst those people who gang raped the poor young lady. Now, finally, at 5 a.m. the next morning, they get into the Mzee's car and they drive off with their loot. Okay? Now, <laughs> this is how they got caught. Very interesting. Yeah? It was a question of uh, thug falls in love and as a result gets caught. <laughs> this is just crazy. I know I shouldn't be laughing, but it is just crazy. And so what does this guy do? He contacts, apparently got the telephone number of this uh, young lass that he had raped, yeah. Now he contacts her and uh, tells her where to get the vehicle, where they dumped them this vehicle, okay. And then uh, he asks her out for a date, yeah. She accepts, okay. And she even tells him she doesn't have fare. So the guy empesas 200 bob to her phone. What? Now, of course, you know that empesa uh, record is evidence. Yeah, you've actually sent money from your phone. It is registered. It has a name. You've sent it to the victim's phone. Anyway, uh, 
of course they meet for the date and actually this turns out to be a trap and the guy is nabbed and the police end up uh, nabbing his other associates a woman by the name of Josephine Wahuni Wahuni yeah was part of the gang and of course the fellow rapist uh, Joram Joroge now unfortunately the police were not able to get the whole gang involved in this very very unfortunate violent gory crime yeah but uh, at least they have three three of the gang and they're now standing on trial for this uh, committed offense they're now suspects and they're facing trial now in my view there's no crime in this world that is worse than the crime of rape yeah it is a very difficult crime to recover from yeah it leaves marks in your life forever yeah it is a terrible terrible crime it is a horrifying crime and indeed there are those women who say it's better that they are murdered than raped yeah and i feel them yeah even as horrible as that sounds okay but do you imagine a situation where somebody commits this crime and then uh, invites the victim for a date i hey i don't know what to say about that until next time this is chris kumekucha